Wow, it's pouring. Good thing I brought my umbrella. Hmm? Is Sudo-san without an umbrella? I'm Genki Tono. I became concerned about my classmate, Konami Sudo. Here, use this if you'd like. Huh? But if you lend me this umbrella, won't you be in trouble, Tono-kun? I have two, so it's okay. Then I'll borrow it, thank you. Sure, take care. Huh? Didn't we have two umbrellas? I feel like I've done something bad, but he's such a kind person. The next day after school, I, Genki Tono, was studying in the library. Not to brag, but I consistently rank in the top three of my grade. I'm a junior in high school with nothing going for me other than my studies. Hey, can I talk to you for a sec? Oh, Sudo-san, what's up? Thanks for lending me your umbrella yesterday. Here it is back. But, Tonokun, you went home without using an umbrella, right? Did you catch a cold? Ah, uh, you saw that. I'm fine. I'm glad, actually. I have a favor to ask of you, Tonokun. A favor? I want you to be my boyfriend. What? Boyfriend? Me, your boyfriend, Sudo-san? I never thought that the popular school idol Konami Sudo would confess to me. That's what I thought. Shh, we're in the library, so be quiet. But Sudo-san, you said something so unexpected. Listen to the whole story. I'm troubled by someone I don't like pursuing me. Even though I've turned him down, he keeps confessing over and over. I thought that if I had a boyfriend, he'd give up. So, I'm basically a deterrent? I said it before she could say it clearly. Yeah, there's no way she'd really like me. Wait a sec, isn't this a good opportunity? I'm spending my entire once-in-a-lifetime youth studying. If it weren't for this chance, I'd be stuck staring at textbooks forever. Even if I'm just a deterrent, I can be Sudo-san's fake boyfriend. I've got to ride this big wave! I'll do it! I'll be your fake boyfriend, Sudo-san! Phew, <sighs> I'm glad. As expected, Sudo-san would never seriously confess to me. I knew it. I'm such a bad person. The next day... Hello, Sudo-san! Stop! That's too formal. Couples usually call each other by their first names. Call me something other than my last name. Then... Konami-san? Stop! No son! Konami. Unexpected, huh? I thought you'd add Chun, but you went with dropping the honorific altogether. S sorry, was that too forward? No, I'm happy. Call me Konami. Well, I have some business at the staff room. See you later. Yeah, see you later. Oh, this is so nice! When I have a significant other, days like this continue. The familiar hallway looks like a flower field. Could it be that Toto and Sudo-san are dating? No way. That guy is Sudo-san's boyfriend? Unbelievable. But their conversation just now, wasn't it like a couple's talk? I desperately held back my loosening cheeks. It's natural for people to say things like that about me and Konami, but being acknowledged for something other than studying felt fresh to me. Our supposed relationship spread quickly and I started to feel gazes from all directions. One day... Hey, Tono! Is it true that you're dating Konami Sudo? Yeah, it's true, but... Don't you think Konami doesn't suit you? Know your place. The number one handsome guy in our grade, Ryo Fujimaki, left after saying those sarcastic words. Fujimaki-kun is right. I'm too mismatched to be next to Konami. I wouldn't even be able to serve as a confession deterrent. Why did Konami choose me as her fake boyfriend? A question arose inside me, albeit belatedly. What's wrong? You've been worried about something. I know it's a bit late to ask, but... Why did you ask me to be your fake boyfriend? Wouldn't it have been more convenient to choose someone else? Well... What? It's a secret. A secret, huh? But I still think choosing me was a stretch. Everyone is doubting if we're really dating. I guess we have to do more couple-like things for them to believe us, huh? Could it be? 
you doing stuff like that? And this? Hey, you're grinning. What are you thinking about? Anyway, we should walk to and from school together. And let's go on a date every week. A date? That's serious. Even though I'm a fake boyfriend, my heart was dancing. And then, on Sunday... Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, it's so dazzling. Is this the view that people in relationships see? My eyes might get burned from the brightness because I'm not used to it. What's wrong? Nope, nothing! By the way, is there anywhere you'd like to go, Kanami? Uh, that. It was recently made into an anime, right? Yeah, it's interesting. I'm watching it too. What? You watch anime, Kanami? I have all the volumes of the original work! Wow, let me borrow them next time. Of course! It was surprising. I never thought Konami and I would share the same interests. Our start is going well. Now, let's enjoy my first ever date! We went to the zoo together. Even though I said we'd enjoyed ourselves, I was very nervous when I thought about being with Konami. Hey, look! It's a panda couple! They seem to get along well. Hey, since it's a date, don't walk so far away from me. Walk close together. Our classmates might be watching, right? We have to act like a real couple so they won't doubt us. Come on, hold hands like a couple. All right. Hey, want to go see the rabbits next? Yeah, sure. I think the pamphlet said we can actually touch the rabbits. This is the first time I've held hands with a boy. Genki's hand looks slender and unreliable, but they're rough like a boy's hands should be. Even though people call me a Madonna, I'm just fortunate in my appearance. I'm actually just a coward who can't take action without some sort of excuse or reason. I'm walking next to Genki using the excuse of warding off other boys. I'm so sneaky. But it's so nerve-wracking. Holding hands feels like this. My hands are starting to sweat. This is bad. They're so cute, and their fur is so fluffy. Konami, want to try petting them? Um... What's wrong? No, it's nothing. Don't tell me you're scared! Well, something like that. <laughs> Why did you choose the zoo if you're not good with animals? They're cute when I just look at them. Just looking. I started to feel closer to Konami, who seemed like an untouchable existence. At first, I was nervous, but as time went on, I relaxed and surprisingly enjoyed myself. Thank you for spending the day with me. I had fun. Do you think we looked like that panda couple? I wonder. I couldn't say for sure. Our relationship is fake, so there's some hesitation in our hearts, and I think we kept our distance. I guess Konami feels the same way. We were a fake couple, right? So holding hands might be just right for us, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. But I wanted to do more couple-like things. Huh? No, it's nothing. I don't think any of our classmates were at the zoo. Even if they saw us, I think holding hands was the limit for a fake couple. What does Konami want from me? I didn't know. After that, our after-school library dates became our routine. For this problem, I can apply that formula I learned, right? As expected of Konami, you're a quick learner! My goal is to surpass your grades next term. Oof, that'd be a problem. If I lose in studying, I won't have any good points left. That's not true. You have many good points. What other good points do I have? Um... See? I told you, studying is my only strong point, right? No, that's not it. I just couldn't say it because you suddenly changed the topic while I was solving math problems. That's all. Alright. Tell me later then. Let's get back to studying. I'm just a fake boyfriend. I was thinking of enjoying my youth by using the fake boyfriend position, but it's starting to feel empty. I wish I could be a real couple with Konami. I asked him to be my fake boyfriend, but I never told him how long we'd continue. I think I'm a terrible person. Maybe it's time to be honest. Hey, listen. Because of me dating Konami, there's false information spreading around the school that people who can study are popular. 
If I could study and be popular, my youth wouldn't be in black and white. Hey, are you listening? If we keep this dry relationship, people will doubt us. What are you talking about? Whoa! What's with this sudden change? I'm saying we need to do something more couple-like. Our setting is that we're a couple, so if we don't do something like this, people will doubt us again. But aren't you uncomfortable licking arms with someone you don't even like? I don't mind, actually. Huh? What? Never mind. Just act more decisive, so we look like a real couple. <laughs> it's been a month since I became Konami's fake boyfriend. I saw it, you know. You're a fake boyfriend, right? You've been watching us? Why would you do that? I don't like it. I don't like that someone like you is standing out. I love Konami, and no one but me can be by her side. End this fake relationship with Konami right now! Otherwise, I'll spread the word about your fake boyfriend act. That would embarrass Konami and hurt her. There's no evidence that I'm a fake boyfriend. Evidence doesn't matter. What matters is who's spreading the information. Who do you think our classmates will believe? You or me? Well, uh, it's frustrating, but I have nothing to say in return. Damn it, think. My brain is my only strong point. Whose story do you think our classmates will believe? Fujimaki-kun or mine? Huh? Konami, you were here? I'm amazed to hear that a handsome guy who makes girls swoon would do something like stalking. Aren't you the one with bad intentions, Konami? You made Tono your fake boyfriend and deceived everyone. Tono probably doesn't feel good about it either, right? Konami, go out with me! No way. So, you're okay with me revealing that you're in a fake relationship? So, if it's a real relationship, there's no problem, right? <laughs> no way! Are you gonna prove it by kissing or something? You can't do that, right? Alright then. You're kidding, right? What? What? I never thought I'd get this close to her face. She's so well-groomed. I want to punch myself for having such thoughts in this situation. Fujimaki-kun, do you understand now? I love Genki. So there's no room for you to interfere. No matter how much you confess to me or try to harass Genki, the chance of me and you dating is zero. Damn it! Fujimaki-kun ran away as if escaping. It seemed as if the word giving up was projected onto his back. The threat seems to have passed for now. I'm saved. Fujimaki-kun has been persistent for quite some time. I think it should be fine now. In fact, Konami and I didn't really touch lips. We stopped just a few centimeters apart. It was a bit of a mixed feeling to be able to stop at the last moment. Today is the end of our fake relationship, right? I want to become real lovers with Genki. Huh? I've liked Genki since before I asked for a fake boyfriend. Really? I'm really sorry for making you my fake boyfriend when I couldn't be honest with my feelings. But if I had to have a fake boyfriend, I didn't want anyone but you. Remember the day you lent me your umbrella? You went home soaking wet, right? I like that warm side of you, Genki. Spending this month together, I've come to realize that again. I enjoyed our time together. Actually, I wanted to kiss you earlier, but I thought I couldn't just ignore your feelings and kiss you. It's unfair to say this now, isn't it? So, you stopped short of kissing me not because you disliked me, right? I like you too, Konami. But you're a little devil. You've really shaken my feelings and made me suffer. From now on, I won't forgive you if you don't honestly date me. I'm sorry, but I'm happy that you feel the same way. Hey, were you nervous earlier? I was surprised, thinking you were really going to kiss me. There's no way I'd do that. We have to save our first kiss for when it's just the two of us. So, is it now? Our youth has just begun. <laughs>